Well, that's not supposed to be there. Hi guys, Manny from Ride Off Rescue here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this video is the start of part two of the Mercedes E43 rebuild process. Uh, if you missed the first video, we had a lot of electrical issues that we had to deal with. Uh, the car wouldn't start, it was completely dead. And basically we had to replace the ignition module and do some soldering and things like that to get it all working So because that keys it in with the car. If you've missed that episode, uh, just check it out. It's in our playlist there. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, now today we're going to be starting off where we sort of left off last time. Now. Basically, we had the car started, which I was really, really excited about. And the, from there, though, uh, we couldn't get the parking brake turned off. So I did a little bit of investigating, and I'll show you what I found. Okay, so we're in the engine bay here, obviously. You can see the battery there. We've sort of shown this part of the car in the previous video. Now, it was my mistake. Um, I've taken this whole... Uh, pre-fuse box out here because I thought originally that may have been the issue and I basically forgot to plug in this one cable down here now my computer uh, with the Mercedes software on it was complaining about that there was no power to the hydraulics and to check that connector and that just sort of twigged me to have a look and there was just nothing plugged in so I found the cable dagging down the bottom plugged it in and great news guys the parking brake now comes off so for today there's two things that i want to try and do uh, firstly i want to get the seat belts um, back in the car i have taken them off already i'll quickly open the door and show you so you can see over there on the driver's side that the seat belt is out and also on the rear uh, passenger sorry rear driver's side there is also been removed i've sent them away and they've already been repaired basically they just replaced the the cloth here that was a bit melted like i showed in the first video so here they are in here so what we're going to do is we're going to get those back in get a few bits of trim back on and then i'd like to look at some clearing some codes and see what we end up with Okay guys, we've got the front seat belt in, you can see here, all working. Now, we just need to get rid of the rest of this broken glass from down here, I'll vacuum that out in a minute. And we're going to bolt the seat back in, because at the moment I had the bolts out just for troubleshooting purposes. So we'll get all that bolted back in, and then we'll move on to the rear seat belt. Alright guys, time to get the rear seatbelt put back in.
Okay guys, the time has come to take this door liner off and we'll get the new window glass installed. So let's get started. Alright guys, so I was struggling a bit to work out how to put this on because this one's a bit different to some of the other Mercedes that I've done before. So what I've found is I've got these two holes here. So basically you remove the regulator, then you push your rails down to line up with these holes here. And if you look inside the hole, in there, where are we? Here, bit hard to see, but there's the screw there that loosens and tightens the clip. So basically, we've just loosened that all off. Now we can put this back in. We'll slide the glass in first and just get it into there. We'll lock it back in with the regulator so it doesn't slide up and down when we're putting a little bit of pressure on it. And then we'll be able to fix the glass in. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, we're going to put on the wing mirror onto the door. We'll bolt in this seat, do a little bit of quick vacuuming to get rid of the rest of the glass that's just hiding under the seat and in the back footwell there. And we're just going to leave that open for now because we're not finished with diagnosing all our electrical stuff. But basically the goal for today was to try and reduce the amount of errors and work out what our final problems are and get the car to a kind of roadworthy state where we can actually drive the car and it can be pretty much ready for its written off vehicle inspection while we're waiting for all the other bits to come in like the replacement uh, seats and so on that are on a long lead time so all right let's get started with doing those things and then we'll go from there Okay guys, so we're doing pretty well so far. Uh, just wanting to get into fixing some of the other electrical issues now with the car that we've got the main stuff sorted out. Uh, the main one at the moment is uh, a complaint about the left front wheel speed sensor. So we're just gonna have a bit of a look into that and see whether it's actually the sensor itself or some wiring. We'll, we'll do some digging and I'll let you know how it goes. So at the moment with the car sitting there stationary, the 
car thinks the wheel speed sensor is telling it it's doing 655 kilometers an hour, so that's pretty good. So basically, there's an issue. Obviously, there's an issue. Now, we need to work out why. It asked me just to jack up the car and rotate the wheel. I was only able to rotate it a little bit because the other side of the car is not up, but it didn't make any difference to that reading whatsoever. So what we're going to do is look in a bit further. Okay guys, so I've got the wheel off. Quick visual inspection here of the line. And I can see, if you look closely there, there's a big nick in that cable. And I'm pretty much 100% sure that that'll be the problem. It will we'll have damaged one of the wires. That'll be the wheel speed sensor. It goes to the back of the hub here. So let's just take back some of this plastic insulation and we'll check out the wires repair them and then we'll see if we can clear those codes and and we should be good Okay guys, so we've sealed that all up with glue lined heat shrink. Uh, basically that's completely waterproof. Uh, the glue basically seals it all off. So there's no way anything's gonna get in there. So that will be perfectly fine. Uh, we'll get back onto the computer and have a look and see whether it's happy now. Okay guys, look at that. Zero kilometers per hour. Exactly what we wanna see. And I'm just moving the wheel a little bit on the car. You can see it's adjusting the speed slightly on there, so job done guys, job done. Let's clear the codes and see if there's anything left. Okay guys, I don't think there's anything really left. It's worth noting for the uh, errors on the computer now, so I'm just going to do a first start up and just check that the car's happy. Okay, it's complaining about some fuel, that's okay. Brake pad wear, okay, we'll have to have a look at that one. Otherwise, guys, I think we're good. So, job done. Now, we're just left with finishing up, getting all the interior sorted out. And then this car should be good to go. Uh, the only other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have to get the uh, passenger door over here uh, taken off and repainted. And that will pretty much be it. Thanks for joining me for part two of this video series on the E43, guys. I hope you're enjoying it. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing and give us a like, it really helps us out. There will be part three of this video. It will be a few weeks away, guys. I'm still waiting on a lot of the parts. So for part three, we're gonna be finishing up replacing all the interior from all the burnt bits that we need to change over. Uh, we're going to be just putting those front brake pads in that the car was complaining about. It just needs some new pads uh, and we'll get the discs machined. And we will also the, be then taking the car out for a test drive and see how she runs. I'm looking forward to that. Once it's all done to take it for a good drive, I'm sure it should be nice. So we'll see you next time.